Let's learn how to compute for electrical load computation. Let's start by counting the number of lights and then adjusting the circuits before computing for the load computation. 9, okay. Circuit 2 is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Was I sleepy when I counted these? Next is to count the number of single switches or the taken, I mean the double switches. So I have one, two, two single, one double, and one trip. Three way, okay? Because I don't like to make the analysis later and then go back to the floor plan back and forth. So switches here will be one and three double switches so it's just one and three and let me continue counting that until the end okay so now we're finally done labeling our circuit numbers and their details let's see into it so actually the basement and ground floor share the same panel box that's why I started with the lighting layout circuit one two Continuing 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Where does circuit 8 come in? Circuit 8 is reserved now for my power layout, starting from the basement. But we have one PB1 in the ground floor and PB2 in the second floor. Now the next thing we will do is to copy the circuit numbers. So by holding down the control, let's copy circuit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and control C to copy. And let's go to our panel board diagrams and just put it here for now. Right click, align vertically, just to arrange them, and maybe right click space vertically. So I remember that this will be for the second floor lighting. Now let's get the basement and ground floor. Paste them. Now this will not be printed, this is just for our reference so that we don't have to keep going back to the floor plans and counting over again. So this is already the first panel box. We just need the power layout or the convenience outlet circuits. We have to get this one from the basement as well. And now we have them arranged, let's get to circuit 1. Okay, so we all know that 1, 2, 7 are lighting, right? And we have 9, 5, 16, 13, 8, 10, 12. It's 9, 5, 16, 13, 8, 10, 12 lighting outlets or LO. Let's now count the number of single switches. 1, 5, 2, 1, skip, 5, and 1. Let's go to S2, the number of taken switch, I mean double switches. That actually we can type as we go. Okay, let's go. 1, skip, so that's delete. That's 3, 1, 1, skip, skip. Nice. Now we're done with. Uh, quantities and actually you can just copy this from the template our wattage is a 18 watt light bulb it seems a bit low but according to your electrical engineer professional electrical engineer or your worker you can actually discuss on which one to be followed so it's all power now let's look at circuit 10 it actually says water heater and the water heater has a different wattage. For me here, it's 3500. We have three ranges, by the way. So that's circuit 12, 13, 14. 
and our wattage will be around 3000 and this 800 I think it's the refrigerator on circuit 15 okay so we have to change 15 into the ref so I'll just drag this up now if you can see the counting is now messed up 10 11 12 let's say you were not able to do this like one at a time because it's very tiring let's say all your numbers here are messed up you could actually just uh, drag both for selection and then what you do is drag the box down it continues the numbering so what we could do is select four cells right click and insert four rows below and copy that now I know that everything else will be power so I could just copy these and go down now the difference between the power and lighting is our size of the conduit inside the conduit our wire is actually 3.5 while our lighting is like 2.0 so we'll leave the spare blank because we do not know what that will put but we have to update the value of our water heater which is actually 3500 let's do the same thing for our second floor which is panel box number two okay let's use the same technique and arrange all the numbers quantity of lighting and power outlets as well now don't forget that the total will be the summation of all the columns inside the table it's actually file download is csv yeah so if you are already in excel you can actually save it as csv or xlxx now let's open this in layouts file insert and look for the insertable content csv i think that's a table okay and look for that in the desktop and there we go now this imports the excel table now the thing with layout is it does not import formulas yet i hope they will add that feature in the future and then right click the table and let's try to fit let's see if it works size columns to fit and it was going to fit the cell into where the text will actually be so we can see a lot of space is taken because it follows the cell where this is in pb1 so let's try to get it until here let's go from lower left to upper right and merge the cells do the same thing for pb2 okay just try to highlight lower left to upper right and merge cells or just click letter m these switches are actually from s1 to s3 so we can actually merge that as well right click m now if you think we're good to go let's size the table again to columns to fit so they actually become more fit into the table okay this would do let's just adjust this to the left for now okay once you're done with that you could actually go to file export and have your final pdf so just click save now this is all the pages so what you could actually do is like if you just want page 5 go from 5 to 5 output resolution medium is fine I do not create layers, I do not have images, but I would just like to see how the export will be, the PDF. Now let's zoom in and see that the lines are actually thin thinner now, which makes it lighter and a bit faster. Here we go, that's an example. And then have this checked by the professional electrical engineer, he is going to comment on your symbols if they are actually correct, like a single pole or the labels of your pb1 pb2 the flooring and if you could have this integrated or separated if there are too much outlets in one circuit or if the ataf is correct and the same as in your service entry now we're giving away this 
whole course template tutorial from volume 1, 2, 3 and 4 that is uh, layout basics to blueprint and BIM information modeling. All you have to do is comment down below, sketch up layout, share to your social media as well as you can get this free ebook. It's currently being sold but we will choose one lucky winner. Just share to your social media with a hashtag sketch up layout and we'll see you next time. See you.